quarter past, so we'll get warmed up, get moving. If anyone joins a little bit late, we can always catch them up. So starting off, feet about hip width apart, stand up nice and straight. We're going to squat down, reach down nice and low, stretch up nice and high. So nice full range of movement. All the way down nice and low, all the way up nice and high. Working through those. Just getting the body moving to start with. So again, don't feel like you need to do loads and loads of reps. So again, much better off getting a full range of motion than loads and loads of reps in. Just want to get the body moving. Spot on and relax off from those ones. Next off, we're going to lunge in, twist over your front knee. Just alternate that forward leg, swapping which foot you're stepping into each time. Make sure you're getting that full twist every time, all the way across, all the way across. Keep those going. And then just even out on those. What we should do next, I'll show you from side on so it's a little easier to see. Feet hip width apart, toes pointing forward, light bend in the knee. We're going to roll forward. Plenty of arch in the back, all the way to the floor. Stand up into a Y shape. So just rolling down all the way nice and low, down the floor, standing up into a Y shape. Keeping those going. Working through those, nice and low, all the way to the ground. On the last couple on those again, not too quick. Don't want to get any head rush feelings or anything like that. And relax off there. Next one, arms out straight, palms down. We're going to draw those hands back, turn the palms up towards the ceiling, and then just alternate your top hand. So working through those, some a little bit higher, some a little bit lower. Loads of fibers in the chest and shoulders that we want to get moving. Keeping those going.
or oh, I'm just going to go for about another 10 seconds or so. And relax off there. Right. So what we're doing is we've got six different, well, six rounds. There's going to be three parts to each. What it's going to be is a minute of work, 20 seconds rest, minute of work, 20 seconds rest, minute of work, and then a longer rest break. So first one we've got coming up, it's going to be high knees and jumping jacks. What I want you to do, 10 high knees, count on each leg as one. So eight, nine, 10, five jumping jacks, straight after. Up to five, throw it back into your high knees. So 10 high knees, five jumping jacks. That's what we're going to go with the first one. And we'll be getting you ready to go in about 10 seconds. So make sure you've got your drinks, make sure you've got space, make sure you've got a mat. And then we'll be getting ready to go in three, two, one. In you go. Straight in, high effort right off the first round. High effort's the focus. That's 30 seconds gone. Use that to gauge your tempo. If you can increase your tempo a little bit, turn up the intensity a little bit, please do. You really want to feel burnt out after every round, especially after that third round. 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Relax off there. Twenty seconds to breathe. Twenty seconds to recover. Slow that breathing down. If you've got your drinks, try and stick with gentle sips. You don't want big gulps before these, otherwise they will feel horrible in your stomach. And let's get you ready to go again. In three, two. One, straight back in we go. Straight back into those high knees, straight back into the jumping jacks to follow. Keep the effort. 15 seconds gone. You should be in rhythm by now. You should have found your tempo. Halfway there, keep pushing through. Fifteen seconds left. Keep those going. For three, two. One, relax off there. Get your breath back, let yourselves recover, slow that breathing down. One more round of those to go. Stick with your 10 high knees, five jumping jacks, final round in three, two, one. And we go straight back in. Nice high effort. This is the final round. So you really want to max out on this one. Don't leave anything in reserve. Try and fully burn out as much as you can on this round. Pushing all the way through. 20 seconds left. Max effort, burn through. Try and get three more rounds in. Three more rounds in 15 seconds. You're gonna to have to go really high tempo, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, relax off there. So we've got that longer rest break now. You can just slow that breathing down and catch your breath. Next one we've got is going to be five squat pulses. So just that bottom 10% of your squat. Three, four, five. Then we're going to go for ski lunges. So bring that foot behind, touching your front foot. 
and back in to those squat pulses, up to five, back into those skier lunges. Five squat pulses, four skier lunges, getting ready. In three, two, one, and we go. So five squat pulses, just that bottom 10%. Four skier lunges. So you're doing a curtsy lunge or touching that front foot and back into those squat pulses. Really good for getting the legs burning on these ones. Halfway there. Fifteen seconds to go. Three, two, one. Relax off there. Twenty seconds to breathe. One round gone. In three, two, one. Straight back in we go. Straight back into a really just looking to burn out the lower body with these. All of those big muscles in the legs, so the hamstrings, the glutes, the quads, we're gonna get all of those burning. Loads of potential calories to burn by working those really big muscles. Thirty seconds gone. Thirty seconds to go. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Relax off there. 20 seconds to breathe and recover, then we'll get ready for that final round on these. Halfway through your rest. Get yourselves ready. And in three, two, one. Back in we go. Five squat pulses, four skier lunges. Make sure you're really getting all the way down to that front foot. Covering plenty of ground with the back foot, but keep your balance. Just gone past halfway. Ten seconds left. And then three, two, one. Relax off completely there. Catch your breath, get your recovery. Going to be on the mats for the next one. What we're looking at here is going to be crunch thrust with V sits. So the way we're going to do these is sit on your hands, pull your knees in, throw and kick the ceiling. So I'm rolling those hips up. Going to go for three of those. Then lay flat, then you go for one V sit. So three crunch thrusts, knees to chest, kick in the ceiling. Then lay out flat, one V sit. So blitz in the core on this one. Let's get you ready. Gonna be going into that round in three, two, one. In we go, straight in. So drawing those knees up towards the chest, kicking up towards the ceiling, three reps of those. Remember, big breath out every time you kick towards that ceiling. 
every time the core contracts, you want nice empty lungs. Makes it a lot easier to squeeze those ab muscles. Halfway there. Ten seconds to go. And in three, two, one. Relax and catch your breath. Let yourselves recover. Gentle sips on your drinks if you need them. That's the first round of those gone. Two more to go. In three, two. One, straight back in, three crunch thrusts, one V-sit. Working through those. That's halfway there. Really make sure you focus on those exhales, your nice empty lungs. Really get the squeeze into the abs. 15 seconds to go. For three. Two, one, relaxing off there, catch your breath. Two of those down, one more to go. Let's get you ready, final round in three, two, one. Here we go, straight in. Max effort, burn out that core, burn out those abs. Really want you pushing through that for 20 seconds out of the way. If you're not struggling yet, you need to increase that tempo, up that intensity. <clears throat> 20 seconds left now. Pushing all the way through to the finish. Nice high effort. Going to be relaxing off in three, two, one. Relax off there. Catch your breath, get your recovery. Again, gentle sips on the drink. What we're going to move on to next is a modified version of a burpee. So you're going to come down as normal, hands to the floor, feet back, add two extra swap thrusts in there, then complete the burpee. So it's hands down, feet back, feet forward, feet back, feet forward, feet back, feet forward. Finish the rep. So you're doing a burpee, but two squat thrusts at the bottom instead of your regular, just popping the feet back and then completing the rep. And we're going to get you ready to go in three, two, one. In we go. Straight into those. So burpee, but at the bottom, adding two extra squat thrusts in. And again, control your breathing. You're always exhaling at the top, taking a deep breath before your next rep. Halfway there.
15 seconds to go. Three, two, one, relax off there. First round of those complete and out the way. Let's get the recovery in, get ready to go again. In three, two, one. Back in we go, straight in. Get straight back into that rhythm, straight back to the tempo. Nice high intensity. Always want that intensity level nice and high. Can't burn calories without putting the effort in. Can't find that progress without putting the effort in. So push yourselves through. Find where your limits are and work on that order. Halfway there. Ten seconds to go. In three, two. One, relaxing off there. 20 seconds to breathe, 20 seconds to recover. Let's get you ready for that third and final round on these burpees. And getting yourselves ready in three, two, one. In we go. Straight in, third and final round. You're over halfway. Final 15 seconds. In three, two, one, relax off there. Get your breath back into that longer rest break now. Next one we've got is gonna be a combination move. So what you're gonna look for is starting standing up straight. Gonna go into a walkout, one press up, three plank jacks, and then walk it in. So walk out, press up, three plank jacks, walk in. Getting ready for those in about 15 seconds. <coughs> and let's get you ready going into those in three, two, one. And we go. So walking out, stretching out those hamstrings, drop into one press up, three plank jacks. And then walk back in again, stretching those hamstrings on the walk in as well as the walk out. Both parts you want to stretch off those hamstrings on. Well over halfway there. Fifteen seconds to go. Keep the effort, keep working through. For three, two, one, relax off there. First round out of the way.
and in three two one back in we go straight back in same movement same control on the walk out and the walk in nice and explosive when you press up in your plank jacks breathing control throughout Thirty seconds gone. Keep that effort, keep pushing through. Final fifteen seconds. Remember, you want to be around eight to nine out of ten on that intensity scale. Finding what your body's limits are and working just beneath it. Gonna be relaxing off in three. Two, one, relax off there. One more round of those to go. 20 seconds to breathe and recover. Again, gentle sips on your drinks. Let's get ready for the last round of these. In three, two, one, in we go. Just coming up to that halfway point. I want you to really turn the intensity up. Still keep the control on the walk out and in, but really explode into that press up and plank jacks. Fifteen seconds left. Let's go. Keep the effort. Three. Two, one, relax off there. 40 seconds to breathe and recover. Final round, what we're gonna look for is some 90 degree squat jumps. So for these, squat down, jump up, land as you turn, squat down, jump up, land as you turn, jump down, drop, uh, jump up, drop down, land as you turn, drop down, jump up, land as you turn. So four in total, they're gonna go for eight foot slaps. And then straight back in to those squat jumps. Working through like that. So let's get you ready. This is the last section. Three rounds on these. And we'll be going into those in three, two, one. And we go. Four and eight, what are you looking for? <coughs> Make sure you're cushioning those landings. So land on bent knees. Just gone past halfway. Fifteen seconds left. For three, two, one, relax it off there. Catch your breath, get your recovery. Two rounds left in the club. That's all you got. Two minutes hard work, and then you're there. In three. Two, one, and we go. Straight back in, same effort. Pushing through the entire way. Nice and light on your feet, on those feet slaps, hopping from one foot to the other.
Keep pushing, keep working. Final 15 seconds. In three, two, one, relax off there. 20 seconds to breathe and we're going into that final round. Let's get you ready. And in three, two, one, and we go. 90 degree squats, nice cushioned landings, eight feet slaps, working the whole way through. Absolute max effort on this one. Everything you've got. If you need to do squat jumps one way and then the other way to stop yourself getting dizzy, that's fine. If you want to go two to the left, two to the right, or one left, one right, one left, one right, or just swap which direction you're going every other round, any way is absolutely fine. Halfway through the final round, keep pushing through. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Relax off there. Get your breath back, guys. Let yourselves recover. Slow that breathing right down. Grab yourself some drinks. That's all the hard stuff out of the way, so if you want to unmute, you can unmute. All right, guys, catch your breath a little bit, get some recovery time in. Just got the stretch down to go, but we'll give it a minute before we start that. How are we all feeling? Good. Good. All good, 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 good. good. Oh, glad you said that was the last one. <laughs> I'm glad it was the last one. I'm glad you said that that was the last one. <laughs> oh, oh me too. I just got really like lightheaded and dizzy. It was a lot of down and up tonight. I just yeah, I did too. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to keep them like ever changing because I'm teaching two circuits a week and I was like I, my knowledge on circuits. I was just kind of like I know plenty of. <laughs> But it's making sure it's difficult for everyone. So that was quite a round. But we'll let everyone recover, make sure no one's going to faint, and then we'll get stretched <laughs> off. I think I was close to it at one point. I was really, woo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, you're working. Anyway, so it's probably... That's a good sign you're working well if you feel lightheaded. Yeah. Right. So starting off, feet up with the part, toes forward. When you drop those hips back, keep the legs straight. Let your head reach down for your toes. Don't worry if you can't reach them, as long as you feel the hamstrings stretching. This is all just maintenance stretch work, so you're not actually going to improve your flexibility levels, but those joints, muscles, all that we use in that class, so you keep them nice and healthy. And stretch it up. Reach for the ceiling, hips slightly forward, taking a bit of a bend, weight on your heels. Off there onto the quads, grab something for balance or just hold your balance, whichever you prefer. He says, and stop it, set it to the side. And relax off there. Hug both your arms out. Dip your head, arch your upper back, push your shoulders away from yourself, draw your chest into your body. And hug those arms all the way around to the lower back. Push the chest forward, draw the shoulders back. Imagine trying to meet your elbows together behind your back.
And then shoulders, straight arm across your body, looking over the shoulder, you stretch in. Top and over, same on the other side, looking over the shoulder, you stretch in, pulling that straight arm across your body. And relax off there. Final stretches we're going to go through is going to be the triceps. So hand on the back of the opposite shoulder, pushing your elbow to follow your wrist. And swap it over, same on the other side, final stretch. Just gently breathing through there and relax.